Hi, it's Neil Sean here on Be My Guest, and my guest today are the wonderful Mr. James Hooten and, of course, the honky Mr. Kent Riley, who tell us all about their latest play, currently shown in London. Remember, though, boys, if you miss, miss it, it, you miss, you miss out. That. Don't miss Kent and James today on Be My Guest. Boys, lovely to meet you. Now, you're doing a play at the moment which really sort of resonates with me. It's in the 80s. Now, you don't look old enough to sort of fully remember the 80s. <laughs> I lived it. So tell me all about it and what, what's the 80s connection? Right, it's, it's a play that's set, it, the start of the play is at the late 80s. So I think it's around 1988, 89. Mm -hmm. oh, when you first period. see the character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and there's a lot of old school hip hop from that sort of era that's involved within the framework of the mm. play, so at the beginning of the scenes and two of the main protagonists in the play are these two young 11 year olds as, as we meet them at the beginning of the play and they both sort of bump into each other and they have a love of hip hop, they're from different sort of schools but they get together and their love of hip hop draws them to, together and then they sort of start experiencing drugs and raves and growing up together in a sort of quite a a bleak sort of Nottingham backdrop that's that's, uh, that's spoken about through the, the whole of the narrative. So. For you, what were your memories of that? You know, doing the play and maybe reading through the rehearsals, did it come back to you like the period that it was? You know, what was your sort of major memories? So, yeah, at that, at that time I was just leaving school and, you know, everything was fresh for me, but all, all the areas that he talks about in the play are very dear, some of them are very dear to me. Yeah. So I grew up in the same area and stuff, so. It re resonates with me, you know, that, that late 80s, I remember listening to some of that hip-hop that yeah. was around at the time, because uh, it's written on my doorstep from where I'm from. It, it talks about a lot of issues that were relevant to me yeah. growing up. It's a story of, you know, of many things, but the main thing being probably friendship yeah. in growing up at a time where a lot of the time adolescent years and mm. you're growing up and so everything's like in your head so difficult so hard you're faced with so many problems yeah. faced with so many problems but in in this story in the in the show that if the truth be known these problems are real aren't they yeah mm. you know that a lot of the time you, as, a, as a child you can feel like the world's on your shoulders and yeah. stuff like that but really looking back it's not but i think a lot of it in this there is a lot it's going like a lot on. Of universal yeah. themes that I think that people can generally, wherever they're from, can identify with. The, my character Stone is kind of, he's kind of a, a, a lonely, lost soul. You know, I, I mean, he's from Liverpool in the play, so you know the, the, the background of him, how he's got there and whatever. And that when you were younger and you had um, your little group of friends, and there was someone a little bit older who was, a, you know, a little bit strange, a little bit, yeah. you know who kind of disrupted your group a little bit, but you, you you couldn't quite say, you know, go away, you're not a friend, but you didn't really consider them like a good friend. So there's that kind of, that's the feel of Stoney's kind of, you know, a little bit of a disruption and a bad influence really. So remind us where it is and when it's on and when we can see you. Right, we open on the 14th of March mm -hmm. at the Tristan Bates Theatre, and that is Covent Garden, I believe. Yes, yes. It's the nearest tube, Covent Garden. You've got yes, to tell yes. people. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, it's a very small um, space. I think it's a 60 seat, uh, 68 seat auditorium, so it's very intimate. 